Up into at six tonight, a search for a man with Hawaii ties who disappeared in San Diego is getting attention across the Pacific. The family of David Mao is desperately asking for any leads to find the father of two. KITV4's Jill Kuramoto joining us with the details. Jill. Well, Lara, David Mao is a contractor in San Diego, but his family is from Waiava, and he has an extended family throughout Oahu. San Diego police say they don't have any clues as to where Mao may have gone, and his cousin in Manoa says the more eyes out there looking for David, the better. He had a special name for me. He called me Melly, and he's the only one that I'll let call me that special name. Melanie Ching says she and the rest of her family are completely baffled as to what could have happened to David Mao. Most of Mao's family lives in Hawaii, and right now they're leaning on each other to get through this. He's just a nice, easygoing guy, kind and helps others, and we're just so worried about him being missing. The last time anyone heard from the 56-year-old contractor was the morning of July 22nd when he sent a text message to his fiancée in Boston. She responded, but he didn't text back. And he would have replied to it because he just likes to go back and forth on text, and he didn't, so... That was the first tip-off that something had happened to him. Mao was expected to leave on a vacation to Laughlin, Nevada that morning, but police say he canceled the trip. When police searched his apartment, they found his suitcase and all his belongings, but no sign of him or his car. While family members in San Diego have posted missing persons flyers throughout the North Park neighborhood where Mao lives, his family is using Facebook to spread the word about his disappearance as far as they can. Police say they haven't ruled out any possibility, including foul play, but the family is holding out hope. It's just such a tragedy to have a family member missing and have no word, nothing, um, no clues how to find him. So um, my heart is really breaking. Now, detectives in San Diego told me they've scheduled an aerial search of the rural areas around San Diego. They're also working with the fire department search and rescue teams. Mao's family has hired two private detectives to help in the search. Laura. Well, Jill, hopefully there's some ways that people here at home can help. Well, they can. They, the family has set up a page on Facebook called Help Find David Mao. It has information about the investigation and details about his car, which the family believes will be the key to solving the mystery. Laura. All right.